Many thanks for staying with us on the newsroom. I am Mary Tano. The Lagos State Government is currently celebrating the life and times of its first governor, Latif Dakonde, by holding a day of tribute for the late elder statesman. Dignitaries present at the event include the Lagos State Governor Babadide Sonwulu, his deputy Femi Hamzat, and the secretary to the Lagos State Government, Polachade Jadi. Dakonde died on February 11th at the age of 91 and was the first civilian governor of Lagos State. The National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC, says the strange disease in Kanu State, which has caused the death of some residents and the hospitalization of some others, has been caused by food poisoning through a flavored drink. The Director General of NAFDAC, Mojisola Adeyeye, disclosed this on Wednesday during an interview. Adeyeye described the incident as very serious, adding that investigations are still in progress. Nigeria's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has denied claims by one of its citizens resident in Switzerland that he has been blacklisted by the Nigerian embassy in the European country. The Nigerian Agbeze Chinedu, in a series of videos which he circulated on social media, claimed he was blacklisted by the Nigerian embassy in Bern, Switzerland. The ministry, however, said contrary to his claims, the embassy did not blacklist him or any individual from receiving consular services at the mission reiterating that the mission will continue to efficiently render quality services to all Nigerians. The National Agency for Food, Drugs Administration and Control, NAVDAC, boss Moji Saladeyaya, said at least five people who took the vaccine from the National Hospital in Abuja experienced side effects like fever, chills, stomach rumbling and pain. Despite the side effects experienced, Adeyaya during an interview said the AstraZeneca vaccines should not be stopped unless it is a statistically massive occurrence. She also said the benefits of the vaccine outweighs the risk. And in business, the Federal Road Safety Corps Lagos Sector Command has concluded arrangements to carry out free safety checks on vehicles within the state. The Sector Commander Olushegun Ogunbemide said all commands within the state will commence the four-day free exercise from March 18 to assist motorists in detecting faults in their vehicles. Ogunbemide said the exercise was an initiative of the Corps to forestall incessant breakdown of vehicles on the road and ensure free flow of traffic especially with the various ongoing rehabilitations in the state. And protesters against the military takeover in Myanmar returned to the streets on Wednesday despite the deadly crackdown on peaceful demonstrations taking an increasing toll. With the return of protesters, the government further restricted communications, limiting access to timely information. The verified death toll among protesters since the February 1 coup, ousting of the elected government of Asan Suki, has now exceeded 200. And in sport, weeks after he was involved in an accident in Los Angeles, golf superstar Tiger Woods has released a statement revealing he has left the hospital and is recovering at home. And the statement released on social media, the golf superstar thanked hospital staff who cared for him following his single vehicle car accident on February 23rd. Woods suffered serious injuries when his car flew off the road and flipped several times during last month's accident. And that's all on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I'm Mary Kanu.